hello, hello. I am back, and back with more CrossCode to boot. Personally, I really love this game, so I'm definitely glad to be playing it again. There's still fair bits that I don't quite remember so well, but I'm picking it up as I go. Last time, I was able to make it out of Rookie Harbor, but I think my good goal for this stream is going to be making it to Bergen, and hopefully even more so than that, making it to the first dungeon, or the first temple, or whatever, whatever it's going to be called. One thing I had done really quickly here was I spent a couple more of my points for this assault little skill tree thing, for some extra projectiles every melee attack. I really like that one. The next immediate thing is to challenge Apollo to a duel a little further on, but I feel like I should be a teeny bit more prepared for that. Otherwise, there's always quests I should be doing, too. Something was complete. Might be able to get that. Complete. Gotta get veggie set, fruit set, and f spice set. means that's done. Hmm... Well, maybe it'd be a good idea for me to turn in some of the quests I've got. Got to remember how to actually quickly navigate around the place. No, I don't quite remember who I'm delivering it to. Maybe the quest giver? I see you managed to get everything. Quickly, go to the pub at the Beginner's Ark and give it to the barkeep. So that's who. Okay. Barkeep at the end of the beginning. Is that that same one that has the door in the back that leads to the ocean? <laughs> I'm kind of operating up through the assumption that it is. Ah, finally another seeker visiting my humble establishment. Are you the ones with the new supplies? About time. That Mr. Nomsworth promised me those ingredients hours ago. Makes me wonder why we even pay fancy paper pushers like him for just doing some calls anyway. Next time I might just contact those doing the real work myself. <laughs> anyway, I'll send him a confirmation about the job. You better go back to him to get your reward. What's the weird spinny movement? Uh, I might have touched on that before, at least I think I did, but the idea is that for combat purposes you have a dodge and you can do three dodges in a row before it gets not so good. But this game's, I guess, has a, bunch, a couple animation cancels that I think are intentional, where if you do any action in between other actions, you can keep doing them. So in my case, I worked out that holding the shield button and then having the shield come up in between each dodge means I can infinitely do the dodge without having to worry about that limit of three. So, I use that for getting around pretty quickly. <laughs> for combat purposes, I tend to do melee attacks into dodge, because otherwise if I just keep using the melee attacks, I have that little spin around that has its recovery frames, I guess. But I can interrupt that with a dash and then get back to the melee. Pretty effective, all things considered. Uh, I gotta turn into the leader of that organization. I've already gotten the message from our satisfied customer. Good job. Here's your payment. I hope I can count on your future assistance. Some stuff, and actually a lot of money. Alright. Heck, that's nearly a level up, too. So what else am I turning in? That one. But I don't remember where that one was. Was it the... Who, who, who was that one again? <laughs> the Fall Divers. Okay. So that one means it's the... Southwest one. Got it. 
basically down a back alley. Welcome back. I see retrieving the data went off without a hitch. Great job. Hopefully that will stop Tukos from mo moping around. He's a great scout. When he isn't a reckless airhead, he shouldn't be down over some lame misstep. Anyway, take this reward. I hope to see you around for future endeavors or quality time. And there's the actual level up. Can't do that quite yet. Turn that in. Don't know where to get those yet. Need more trees. Find the probe. Find the... Okay. That stuff will just happen as I go. Though I guess I could also double check the... Quest bulletin board thing in here to make sure I didn't miss any. Yeah, I didn't miss any. Okay, well, good to know. I'll turn that one in. That'll be the Guard HQ. Oh, that's the entrance. I already got the report. You did a fine job out there. For a rookie. <laughs> in any case, you are welcome to help us out again in the future. The rookie Harper Guard is always busy. Okie dokie. Another thing I need to make sure I've optimized here is actually with my equipment. So I got a higher level of equipment. All-purpose weapon made from a simple alloy of copper and tin. Just like old times. So I could use a better weapon on the other hand, but... Armor would be nice too. What if the equipment shop's got anything useful? Now that I've got a little bit of cash. stuff is upgrades. I could use another one of these. Just straight up buy that stuff too. Oh. Forgot I have to do the checkout first. Okay. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Something, something that's interesting too is anytime you go check out the equipment store, your party member or party members will also buy their own equipment with their own money. So they get upgrades to their equipment as well. Slap that on. Mass produced, pretty sturdy, and shining in the sun. A soldier's cheap bread and butter. Just straight upgrade. Durable footwear made from durable material. Nothing special, but keep thorns out. Alright. That should be way better. Ah. I can teleport back to Autumn's Rise, wherever I was. But where should I be heading? Should I just keep heading west? Or should I go back and explore other ways? Hmm. Might be a good idea to go ahead and explore back a little bit. Sometimes picking up extra items is so very nice indeed. Oh, I forgot there was a signpost. I had to go back and check and see what, what just popped up. Well, uh... Not going that way, at least. So... I probably then have explored all the ways I actually can go. Alright, never mind. So, west it is. Towards Bergen Trail. I hope you don't get lost around here. Ah, over there. Seems we had to head northwest to reach Breaking Trail. I hope it's not too far. I'll have to log out sooner or later, you see. Ah, don't worry. I'll stay until you beat up Mr. Grasshead. And please don't hurry too much because of me. I have to make sure you're well trained, no? Alright then. Say parti. Hoping that's how that is. <laughs> hmm, that is right. We have been playing for a while now, Leah. 
Anyway, I suppose there's still time for you to face that duel. Come on, Leah. Oh, jeez, okay. There she is doing some nice damage to these guys. Even the higher level ones. Yeah, that's working out pretty nicely. I think that means I'll be pretty ready for that duel indeed. I just fell in the water. Good thing the enemies get damaged for falling in the water just like I do. <laughs> Oh, just die. I was being at range. Hate it. Yeah, we're on a roll. Huh. <laughs> that solves that quest. So there's another entrance to this cave here on this west side. And it looks like it's all Puzzle City. Gonna have to do some nice platforming to get there, though. Oh, that's not gonna work. Something like that works. Okay. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure that worked. It worked. So, actually, now that I think about it, now that I opened that up... Means I have to go back to the other side if I want to make use of that. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. It was only south from here. So what do I get? Halcyon Droplet. Not that one. Drops of pure water that is said to cure any disease. That name sounds familiar. That might have been in one of the crafting recipes. Alright, so I'll be holding on to that for later. <laughs> I know I'm going to have fun trying to remember the buttons. I keep forgetting what does what. So that was that. This little treasure chest I'm gonna want. Twilight Dew? That sounds like crafting. Aha! Gotta use the ricochet! Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get good at using the ricochet again, because, uh... That's very important for the puzzles I'm gonna encounter soon enough. <laughs> I'm not trying to hit enemies. Ow. But fine, I'll beat him up. Experience is always nice. Fine. I'll just beat you up at for range. Ow. Keep making me think I can go in there. I can't. Alright, so I wanted to do some more jumping, but where do I get to jump to? Oh. <laughs> right there. That would have helped. Bear Cicada. Alright, that's still, that's still more crap than stuff.
Well, I guess I might as well see what's on the southern path. Old observatory. <laughs> Wasn't expecting the camera to get taken away. You, how did you? Snuck up on me. Go away! The hedgehogs are much more tolerable. And even though these guys are tanky and block a lot, they're still a little better. The one bites it as, hey, you're not doing this mess with me. <laughs> Wait, yes, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Stop running away! I'm gonna have to get uh, quite a bit better about actually taking advantage of their weaknesses. Nothing to level up. Alright, sure, I'll always take that. What the heck are you doing over here? Hi! Hey! It's nice here, isn't it? <laughs> I've gotten way past Autumn's Rise already, but it's still my favorite area. So I come back here to relax when I'm getting frustrated with the game. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I suppose if I were in this game, I'd probably do stuff like that myself. I want that, but there we go. Now ah, we're talking. Any other precarious jumps needed? Nah, I don't think so. So what's going on here again? To observe those who seek all elements is our duty. If you dare to seek our wisdom, then only what is broken can open this door. And who the heck are you? Code Knight. Hi! There are many strange places in this world. And they just go away. <laughs> Alright. I guess I'll call that path explored for now. You're not getting away, you're broken. Okay, well, it's a good, at least a good thing Emily keeps putting break on them. I can take advantage of it. on me. I can't protect from above. Okay, well that was just sad. The tree blocked your skill. That'll work a tree. Halfway five? Why does that look suspicious in that corner? Did that say counter? Did I time my shield just right and like block something and do a perfect block? I was kind of noticing a P showing up sometimes when I block. I guess that means there's a perfect block of some sort. Or maybe if I get the timing even better, like a counter. That'd be pretty cool. I don't- I don't really remember that. Did 
There's just a guy chilling over there. But how can I get over there? Well, to say the least, there's ways to jump around. Is this where I want to be, though? Oh. Huh. Well, I guess it kind of is. I was going to say, how do I get the item? But then I saw the path. Hello? Why can't I talk with you? <laughs> if you're in a strange place, I expect to be able to talk with you. Blue shell? Okay, I have to check that one out. What, what blue shell? Is fabled to be the bane of many a conqueror. Blue shell. That wouldn't be the Mario Kart blue shell, would it? Okay, now you're just blocking every hit. Um, wasn't trying to go in here quite yet, but... These are just three of these guys sitting in this cave. I missed. I missed. Emily got my back, though. That's some party members of Fort. Okay, now I'm just missing melee hits, too. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Shouldn't be worried about anything else over here. Oh, there's another item. Okay, let it look. Daikon. That looks like a weapon. Level 13! Uh, that's quite a bit higher level than my own character at the point. So some HP regen. Max HP, a little bit more attack in exchange for defense. Sounds like a fair trade. <laughs> I do like offense, after all. Do I need to be jumping anywhere else, though? Well, this almost looks like some kind of combat arena right here. Hmm. I was gonna say, where'd the bull go? What the heck happened to the- <laughs> Was that hiding in a corner or something? Alright, note to self, don't attack it from the front. Or let her do the work, I guess. <laughs> so it was because it was hiding underneath this, like, cliff or something? <laughs> Another level up? Guess that means it's time to take a look at the skill tree circuit thing again. I can't go further down this side of the skill tree until... I want to say that's after the first dungeon? But... There are indeed other things I could be getting here. Hmm... Range of melee attacks. 
Uh, that's the kind of stuff I do like. Focus for critical hits and status effects. Time limit for repairing and dash invincibility and SP gain. That's a lot of stuff on one stat. I'll work towards some of this stuff. So now I have a throw art. Okay. Hold the same button for the charge. So in short, a special attack for the range now. Alright. I guess that'll work. Stop running away! I think I'll call this area most explored. Oh, there's more enemies here. All right. Okay, I didn't expect that to lead me across the water. I can't see her behind a tree! Guess I might as well keep the combo going. Ooh, that lurks a treat. Guess the bull needs to hit a wall for that thing to be stunned. Everything's dying pretty fast now. Upgrades, level ups, skill tree upgrades. I think I will be doing well on this dual thing. I don't really know what to do when they go above me though. Oh, do you just keep going. Yeah, wait till you find out there's a higher rank than A. Double crust. I thought that looked funny. Enemy's data probe. Well, that's one of the quest bits done. So I just need the last landmark and then that'll be Henry's stuff done. Still need to find those trees. And then kill enemies in that one rainy area. Did I even leave any enemies behind? <laughs> well, that certainly looks puzzly. But I'd have to figure out how to get to it first. Uh, might have to start this traveling from another area? Because I'm not seeing a way up. Unless... No, I don't think I can make that jump. No, okay. Don't think that's gonna work. Alright, what's north? Yeah, that's looking like the way to get down there. Or up there, I should say.
forgot how big this area was, to be honest. I was expecting to have already hit Bergen Trail by now. I mean, it's because I'm distracting myself with all the fighting anyway. <laughs> Now that is satisfying indeed, to beat those ranged guys before they can actually dig underground for the first time. Well, it's not that way I need to go, that's for sure. Oh. <laughs> Level ups keep surprising me. Christophorus. Hi! Yes, what is it? Let me guess. You wonder how to reach this chest, don't you? Sure. Figured. Well, you may have realized this already, but jumping from here on those pillars is not the right solution. No, you'll have to go another way. In fact, it's a very roundabout path to reach it. Do you want to know more? I suggest you try to find the way yourself. It's more rewarding. That's the spirit. So maybe now I can enjoy a quiet moment here. <laughs> it's okay. I can't refuse a fellow traveler in need. So the pillars aren't the way you say, eh? Alright. There's definitely some way to get up above here, though. It's not from the west or the east. And based on the scenery, I don't think it's from the north. At the very least, I can get over here, kinda. Should have thought about that before aggroing them. Whoops. That guy's a quest. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Hey, you! Hi? I'm one of the testers for this game. The devs asked me to test an almost finished new quest type. Parkour! <laughs> I'm kind of tired and you just came along, so want to try it out? Nice! Good to see some enthusiasm. Alright, get this. You will start right next to me. When you touch this checkpoint, another will pop up. Your goal is to walk through every marker until you hit the last one. And... the last one is over there! It will only appear after you hit the last normal marker. Yeah, I know, but it's more fun that way, right? Well, at least if you like running. Also, if you leave the map, all your progress is lost. Another bummer, I know. Anyway... Ready to try? I mean... Sure? Awesome. As I said, just start by stepping on the first marker here. <laughs> oh, okay. Just a bunch of, like, it's parkour. I also like how big those circles are to show you where you're going next. That is pretty handy. I guess it's kind of also a way to force you to move around the whole map and try jumping from places to places. You did it! Great job! And there was no problem, right? No sudden shocks or anything? Great, great. Thanks a lot. Take this for your efforts. I hope we can meet again. So you can help me again, you know? That's just seem pretty satisfied with your performance. He even told you they can help in the future. You can't decide if that's a good thing or not. Uh, well, I kind of abandoned my higher up vantage point, so I guess I gotta go back. There's still things to collect.
Maybe this is the roundabout way he was talking about. Maybe I end up jumping all the way over to that side. Alright, well there's one treasure chest. Just keep giving her my way. <laughs> yeah, I should have figured I can't go that way. Ah. Wanted to jump over to that. <sighs> that kind of would have helped me too. That was the way to go, to be honest. So, do I need to go all the way through that northern map again? I think I do. I guess that's just the platformer side of things. I have to say, I definitely feel a lot better today than I did yesterday. Turns out getting some sleep is a great thing after all. <laughs> sort of operating on zero sleep for however long that was. I actually got some nice sleep. Is there anything special about... No. This isn't leading how I thought it would. Am I... supposed to hit those switches from so far away? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, that might have been the answer. Kinda forgot those switches were there anyway. I'll give this another go and see if hitting the switches is the answer. May open up some extra way. Just gotta remember how I'm actually getting to it. Okay. Well, <laughs> kinda. I don't know if that was what I'm intended to do. Yeah, it still could be. It looked possible to actually hit them all that way. Kind of done it before, but I learned uh, su playing Super Smash Brothers with a buddy while I don't have much sleep, if any, is uh, very difficult indeed. Ended up losing by quite a bit. <laughs> That's a good example of me, until just then, not realizing I could just jump straight over. Uh, that's a whoops. <laughs> Okay, well that doesn't open a way forward, but it's a treasure chest. I'll take that. That'll work for treasure chest right there. But since I'm here, might as well see about getting to this upper path on the right side. Remember the guy said it's not the pillars, but... Maybe meaning not from where we were standing. Now we're talking. Getting all the stuffs. 
Is there anything I'm missing before I jump off? I'll take that as a no. Okay. So before I forget, I might as well grab that treasure chest I made up here. If I even remember where it was. <laughs> No, it was more on this side. Ah, that's where it was. Okay. <laughs> Did I, uh, screw up my chance to get over there, or...? <laughs> yeah, I might have. Looks like it's someone make that jump. <sighs> yeah, I don't think that's a duple jump. Can I make that jump? No. Okay. Well, it's worth a try. I feel bad having to keep making this same trek again, just to try it one more time. But I'm gonna laugh if I find out there was some aspect of it that I'm just overlooking. Like a shortcut being made, or... Me not having to go around to get to that specific point. For all I know, there's like a switch somewhere I'm supposed to hit. I feel like there's things like that that happen time to time. And cross code. And just in this particular case, I've completely forgotten or just completely overlooked that there is one. But this will suffice now that I'm here anyway. Assault vest. Less HP, more attack, more defense. Lose the scope effect, gain the assault effect. I don't remember what the scope effect is, but I want to say that's the one that makes it easier to focus your aiming so that it aims quicker, whereas assault is that more melee focused projectile thing. I do like that one a lot, so more of that would be great. Alright, get out of the corner, you silly. Wouldn't be great if I had to hit the wall. Yeah, well. Oh, yeah. Things are dying when I can actually hit them. Wait, Emily, you're just making the thing move constantly. That'll work. Alright, I think it's finally time to see what's going on north of here. Picked up all the items I saw. I don't know how long it took. Ending pathway. Alright. That's the final landmark. Okay. Hey! Pleased to meet you, girl. Hi! Are y'all interested in plants, too? They got some mighty strange doohickeys inside, don't you think? Well, I'm Taladu Lips. I've taken a notion to finding and analyzing as many as I can. Let's turn out to be a lot harder than I expected. See, getting at what's inside seems to only be doable by seekers. I can only collect what they bring me. Might y'all be interested in giving me a hand? 
Sure. Much obliged, girl. That there is mighty kind of y'all. First, let me give y'all this here. Disc of Flora. This handy little gizmo will help y'all keep track of your progress. Just keep hitting them plants and analyze them by getting them doohickeys. Y'all can check your progress in the menu, too. I took the liberty of adding my findings for the alpha ball plant. Just keep hitting them plants for me, alright? Alrighty. I'll be off exploring for more of them plants. Might even meet you again along the way. Once y'all have finished, come find me in Rookie Harbor Alley Quarters. Sure. Botanics in the records. Okay. Completing the entry. Getting a more detailed location. Alright. That's all fair. How have I done with these so far? Uh... So the only one I haven't completed is the Omega Ball Plant, I guess. I need one more drop out of the thing to complete it, I think. <laughs> Alright, cool. over there again. I have to keep looking at all these walls and trying to trace a path in my head. <sighs> Doesn't look like a way I can get to or from. Can't jump from there. Can jump there, though. Alright. That's something, at least. Also, just notice there's like a place to jump to there. Yeah, that was what I was supposed to do. So, if I'm up here, can I just make that jump? Okay. So, now I'm here. Switch opens that gate. Perfect. Golden satchel times three. A make ball plant analyzed. I think that means all the plants here are all done. Just in time for the next place, too. And the change in music. Bergen Trail, here we are. So, where is Monsieur Grasshead? Don't tell me he's late. Blue-haired Sphiromancer! Finally, you've arrived! It is time for our duel. As for the location, this place here is just perfect. Isn't it kind of crowded here? Why, that's exactly the point. People should witness the grace of the Spheromancer's fighting style. I see. Now, there is no reason to rush. Prepare yourself and tell me when you're ready to start. And don't even think about chickening out. Hell no, we're gonna show you. Must I remind you of the definition of a duel? It's Spheromancer versus Spheromancer. No, Pentafist. Wee oui, wee, oui, I know. I'm gonna watch as Leah beats you up. <laughs> anyway, just talk to me when you're ready. <laughs> Did you notice how they removed the meeting place here? Yeah, Patchland says it's for some bigger update soon. Ha, <laughs> soon probably means not this month. Yep, drew that. Also, I'm sorry, but I keep hearing my dog barking. I'm gonna go check on them. I have a funny feeling they're gonna win outside. Ah, sure enough, sure enough. She was at the door barking for me to let her out. So I went out with her. And oh, wow, is it chilly out there. <laughs> I was kind of sad I didn't think to bring my jacket. Sitting out there waiting for her. But... 
Well, at least in this room, then my computer is enough of a furnace that I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> so I don't need a jacket in here. It's just outside that's nice and cold. Whatever torrential downpour we had yesterday brought in this cold front. And yeah, it's chilly, at least by Florida standards. Another landmark, good for teleporting. Um, Haya! Hi! Are you a new player too? Great! I mean, uh, could you help me with something? <laughs> See, I need equipment, a bronze mail. They offer it in the armory of R Rookie Harbor. I teleport back to the city and buy it myself, but... See, I hate towns. They're always so crowded. So many people, signs and noises. I, I can't take it. So, uh, could you please buy a bronze mail for me in Rookie Harbor? Uh, of course I'll pay you back, so I'm um, pretty pleased. Sure. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. I'll wait for you here. Uh... I... Technically, I already have one with me. Does that count? Oh, is that the bronze man you bought for me? Not really. Thank, thank you so much. Here, I'll pay you back the price, but plus some extra. And also some items I found a broken trail. It's not much, but maybe you, maybe you can use it. I can gotta go now. Thanks again. She got the mail and seems very happy about it. So the exchanges for the stuff I can get in this new area. Whoop. Whoop. Welcome to Bergen Trail. P Apologies, my lady. I just came down from Bergen. They say, down is the easy way. At my age, neither way is the easy way. So you're just really tired. Okay. Alright, enough stalling, I guess. Time for this duel. I'm always nervous with these duels in this game because they're kind of tough, normally. But they are also one aspect of this game that I really, really appreciate. I kind of went above and beyond for this. It's kind of like a tutorial without being a tutorial. I see you worked hard. Those are some excellent stats. This is going to be interesting. Are you ready for the duel? Good. Pentafist, it's time for you to step back. Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. Get ready. PvP combat activate! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is this your first PvP battle? Player versus player. It's simple. We fight several rounds. Five out of nine. No items. No escape. <laughs> Go, Leah! I'm sure you can do it! The time has come. I, Apollo, will show you the right path. The path of a proper spheromancer. The path of justice! Let the duel begin! No, I don't... I just want to see what you're going to do. Oh, I see what you're doing. Hmm, okay, I see the problem. Oh, he telegraphs his attacks. This round goes to you. Not bad. Oh, the heck was it? The heck were you doing there? Time to show you the true potential of a Spiromancer. Oh, I see what he's doing there. Using those to bait the, the dodges. Oh, I see what the deal is.
I don't want to lose. You can do it, Leo. Okay, good thing I dodged that. Okay, should not run into that. This isn't over yet! Jeez, I need, I need to shield a little bit there. Huh, that kind of worked out. It looks like I underestimated you. Yes, you are indeed a worthy opponent. I'm glad to know that skilled spheromancers remain among us. However, you have yet to unlock the true potential of this class. Next time we meet, I'll make sure to test your skills once more. Until then, blue-haired spheromancer. <laughs> serious Monsieur is very serious. Looks like you got yourself a rival, Leah. <laughs> you really did kick his derriere, though. That was awesome. Anyway, I really have to go now. Seriously, we've been playing for so long. But it was so much fun. So let's play together again next time. The chord? Hoping that sounds wrong. Trade bien, until then. <laughs> Au revoir. New word embedded. Bye. Bye! Huh? Ah, we. Oui. Goodbye. See you soon. It looks like I added the word just in the nick of time. I figured you would need it sooner or later. Well then, I think we should call it a day as well. I kind of need a break myself, to be frank. Do not worry, you'll be back in the game soon enough. Good night, Leah. Sure, it's supposed to be a long parkour. It's all about the journey, no? We better make it last. Well, that's a funky sequence and a half. Yes, apple trees all over the place. She would have loved that place. Hmm. I suppose I might as well show that place to you. Someday. Good morning, Leah. Are you alright? And you still remember everything from yesterday, right? Meeting Emily and all that? Alright, great. Oh, by the way, it seems that Emily is online as- Oh, that must be her. It is like a phone call. Just take it. Bonjour, Leah. Hi. This is a direct link. First time you've seen it. Really fancy, no? Anyway, I already went ahead a bit and had a look around Burke and Trail. You can form a party again if you want. Just tell me via D-Link, we? Oh, I almost forgot. I think the next dungeon will be in that mountain village, no? We should enter the dungeon at the same time. Keeping the tradition of our dungeon racing duels. <laughs> Trey BN, make sure you don't enter that dungeon without me, Ducord. See you around. And link in there. Well then, time to continue. You can invite Emily to your party, or go by yourself. It is your choice. Uh, might as well. Select a party member to open the submenu. To invite them to the party or remove them, also simply contact them for a small chat. That's a, another level up? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and contact them anyway for fun. Hi! Bonjour, Leah. 
I'm currently climbing a Bergen Trail. Just now I saw a group of penguins. I'm pretty sure that penguins are usually not around mountains. Very suspicious, no? Anyway, just tell me when you want to start a party. And don't forget, no entering the next dungeon without me, Decord. <laughs> Alright, might as well ask for a party. I see you're looking for a formidable punching force. I'm ready! <laughs> and it's that easy. Teleports right into place. <laughs> right, so I was touching on- oh. Sure feels nice to have a change of landscape. I don't think I want to see another apple in a while. But I've heard that we can actually do more quests in Rookie Harbor now. Sounds like a good idea before climbing that mountain, right? But- But you want to walk all the way back for that? Well, there is this quick travel system, you know. <laughs> Having the other players talk about that kind of stuff is a really nice way to serve as a reminder. Oh yeah, you can fast travel. <laughs> but, okay, actually, yeah, maybe I'll go back to uh, Rookie Harbor if there's more quests. What I was planning to mention is that that duel with Apollo, if I'm remembering his name right, that is the only time, or the only kind of time, you'll, you'll see another character, or otherwise, with the same class as Leah here. The Spheromancer class, because they're apparently really rare. So, they use the game, the developers use that little duel as an example of showing you exactly what you could be doing with all your skills and abilities and stuff at that point in time. So, throughout the game, you keep meeting him and dueling him, and it kind of keeps scaling up with the more abilities you get so that you're you're always getting at least a picture of what you could be doing. And for that matter, that duel can be lost and the game just keeps going as if nothing happened. Like, it's not something you have to win to move on. If you lose, you lose. But it's mainly just a direct tutorial, or I should say an indirect tutorial, which blew my mind the first time I saw that. <laughs> I love that. Hi! Hi, sweetie, you arrived at just the right moment. You see, we just went through two closes data and found something interesting. Turns out that ambush on him wasn't just a random stroke of bad luck. Believe it or not, our information hints towards an organizing, organized band of hillcats that are performing coordinated strikes. They might have trailed Tuko specifically after spotting him doing the exploration. I know, right? You never know at the track, but intelligent digging rodents? But I guess we should have expected some intelligence from those sneaky buggers with their fancy headsets. In any case, Tukos has already gone out again and to find their hideout and requested a seeker to meet up with him. So, how about it? Did that weirdness pique your interest? Sure, I'll get to that at some point. I knew you couldn't resist. Heck, I'd love to trade if not for those pesky responsibilities I had here. Tukos wanted to wait for reinforcements at Pathway 5 and Autumn's Rise. You better not keep him waiting. He would definitely want to meet you and give his thanks for last time. Uh, I kind of wanted to keep exploring Bergen Trail for now, so I might leave any side quests I pick up for later if they aren't on Bergen Trail. That's always good to have the side quest ready. Ah, hello! Welcome in again! I think it's been a while, huh? This time I'm playing some CrossCode. Which is my favorite game if I didn't make it obvious in the title, I guess. I forget if I put it in the title. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, oh my. Hi. Ah, there you are again. I'm currently facing a high priority problem that has given me quite the headache. You see, I'm waiting for an urgent delivery of fresh ingredients from one of our contracted food collectors. An important business lunch will be ruined if she doesn't show up soon. Hi? Yes, thank you for asking. It would indeed be very helpful if you could lend me a hand again and keep your eyes open for our collector. She should be somewhere in Autumn's Rise. Could you try and find her and examine what happened? Sure, it sounds easy enough. Excellent, I'm expecting swift results. And I probably should check to see if there's... The guard HQ. Okay, so another side quest to pick up. Oh, I don't know if I've talked this room before. So many options, don't know where to start. <laughs> uh, it's for all these exchanges here. Okay. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have the materials for some of this stuff, but... Can't hurt to look around. Yeah. 
Oh, well, there's that thing. Swift spike. For the bullseye effect? Yeah. I kind of like the one I've got. All that stuff if I need it. I guess at least I'm good at the guard headquarters and pick up that other quest. Nice to see you around, rookie. We have need of your assistance again. As if the usual struggle with the track isn't enough, we have violent threats growing from within our own settlements. And it seems like some people are smuggling dangerous weapon systems th onto the continent through our harbor. Needless to say, this is a danger for every law-abiding citizen on the planet. So, can I count on your help again? Sure. Excellent. We already got Officer Cedric investigating the case right on location. Meet up with him at the harbor at Beginner's Ark, and he would brief you on the details. Okay. Well, having those side quests nice is nice and all, but... I do indeed want to go back to Bergen Trail. Start exploring some Bergen Trail. I don't know if I'm going to have the time, but I did want to at least try to make it to the dungeon and make it through the first dungeon. Of course, I'll be getting plenty of sidetracking <laughs> with collecting things along the way, but I'll try. Should have, should have known I couldn't jump to that. Kind of looks like I should be able to get up there, but maybe not. Oh, uh, hello. Who are you? Ah! So, so, sorry. I just had the most traumatic event ever. Seriously. I'm still shaking. Hi? Yeah, hi. Again, sorry, I'm normally not so jumpy. I mean, you won't believe what happened. I was running on an off-road path here in Bergen Trail. Suddenly, this huge and vicious bunny creature attacks me from the side. I was so surprised, I just ran down here and collapsed. I mean, I heard there was a super strong monster in the mountains, but I can't believe it. I still have to become much stronger. You know what? You're right. I shouldn't be scared of some monster. It's just a game, right? I should find this thing and give it a good whacking. Right. But how about you help me? You know, uh, ease into the action and all that jazz. I'll reward you too. Come on. Uh-huh. So ask her friends about the monstrous bunny. All right. Yeah, thank you so much. I think we should start by asking my friends about that thing. Both of them are pretty smart and they always know stuff. One of them is a hexacast and is in Rookie Harbor. Not sure exactly where he is though. I remember him saying something about an inn he loves. The other is a triblader. He should be at the obelisk in Autumn's Rise. I'll send word to both of them via direct link so they know that you're coming. Sorry, I'm not a fan of this messaging. I like to hint links personally. While you talk to those guys, I'll talk to the people here. By the way, what's your name? I'm Jean. Leah, hi. <laughs> Is your speech module jammed or something? Kind of seems like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Must be hard using the direct link. I'll include this in my message to the guys. All right, Leah, let's begin. I think this quest is actually part of Bergen Trail. With stuff to do in Bergen Trail, so... Maybe I'll go ahead and handle that port first. So I'm supposed to go to the obelisk. Nom's rise, and then I'm meeting at the inn. In the town, okay. Hi! Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Oh, wait, you're that girl. Leah, right? Jean already told me you'd come. Sorry to get you involved. I can't understand why she's not using the direct link. Yeah, anyway, this is about the bunny or whatever she saw, right? I do remember that you can summon some sort of legendary bunny by collecting five frosted carrots somewhere in Bergen Trail. But there was another requirement. I can't remember what it was. Maybe our hexacast hex friend Jock knows more about it. Yep, that's all. Also, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, Leah. Hi. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's the problem with the speech module Jean told me about. 
Nah, don't sweat it. I'll just deal Jean everything I told you. She should learn how to use the direct link system anyhow. And... The inn, I think, was in the west part of this place? If I'm remembering right, it's the one that has what looks like a Pokemon center floor and, like, machine in it. Yeah, that's the one. Good day, Leah. Hi? <laughs> Don't farce yourself, Quine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is this accent supposed to be? <laughs> Jean told me all about you. I'm drunk. <laughs> Shocker for you, huh? Heard your speech module's broken. You swatched lot the cheerful lassie nonetheless. What is that supposed to even say? <laughs> <laughs> Say you want to kin something a bit of the legendary bunny, all right? All right. How is what I can? I heard you need to find some sort a rune capture device. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it is like having a drop break your new mouth. <laughs> Maybe I should imagine that when I'm trying to say it. You can tell Jean I might have found this device, but she still needs something else. But I didn't ken what it is. <laughs> I will send Jean all the details. You mick found it, Mare, when you got to... Weir, Triblade, or Mucker. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, that's a bit of a tough one. <laughs> I take it it's safe to go back to the quest giver anyway. Is she back on her ledge? Okay, she's back on her ledge. Hey, Leah. Hi, hi. I just heard back from the guys. I can't believe this. I told them not to DL me. <laughs> and again, your speech module's broken, so it's probably better this way. But, on to business. So from Jeff, we know that we need five frosted carrots, and from Jock, we know that we need a capture device. And I found out that this creature seems to show up a lot on the windy climb parts of Bergen Trail. Let's split the work. You go and collect the frosted carrots, and I'll try to get my hands on one of these capture devices. We'll meet here again once we're finished, alright? Uh, okay. So I guess I'll be looking for that as I go through Bergen Trail. Works for me. I keep wanting to go through Bergen Trail. Bunnies. We're currently fighting cute bunnies. <laughs> Wait, I take that back. Those bunnies are not cute. Small fluffy fighting machines. Uh, I didn't want to go to the next area. I was trying to fight the guys. The bunnies, I should say. All right, now I'll move on. I want to keep the combo going. Uh, okay, no enemies over there. It's a laser bridge. Laser bridge. <laughs> Sure would be nice to have laser bridges around more often. Those bunnies have quite the kick, but it's nothing compared to the Pentafist's punch, am I right, Leah? I think that means I've cleared out the place. So, how am I supposed to get to that treasure chest? Oh, another level up. Okay. I keep getting surprised due to the combo system delaying XP and stuff. Uh, that's quite the view, no? Good thing there's no risk of flying to our death. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I were actually playing this MMO-like game and having to experience... Everything like it's a VR MMO. Ugh. I know I would have trouble with the heights thing. It 
So how the heck am I supposed to get to that treasure chest? Oh. There's a jump pad right there. Uh, that would help a lot. <laughs> well, I mean, actually, I thought it would help a lot. Where does that help me, though? Now I feel like I'm missing something. Well, okay, I thought that led me somewhere. Never mind. I have to be missing something. All right. It's times like these where I know that even though I've played this game before, I've forgotten nearly everything. <laughs> I don't remember how to do simple stuff like get to like a treasure chest. Definitely not. S oh, <laughs> I could jump on that. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Whoops. Okay, problem solved. Yeah, didn't think I could make that. Okay. All right, next area then. Guess I'll go rest. Time to beat up the cute bunnies. Now the bunnies are one thing, but there's another enemy in this area that <laughs> is pretty funky. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll soon show up soon enough. I only mentioned it was at Rookie Harbor before, but. It's another detail that when running through these kind of like downtrodden paths, places that players in a game would normally be going through a lot, I like that there's just random NPCs that you'll see running along. They're supposed to be like the other players of the game. It's a great detail and I really, really love that. Fine, you want to stay at range? I'll keep shooting you at range. And it just runs away. And that was a flying seahorse shooting bubbles. Go forward. Like that's somehow not a normal... Phew, better to not look down right now. Yeah, just, um... Seahorse is shooting bubbles at you. No big deal. Totally normal. In fact, that's in every video game. Pokemon comes to mind. <laughs> I was hoping I could jump to that. Maybe I can use a ricochet to get those? I can. As soon as I figure out the right angle. That'll work. That's what I wanted anyway. Well, I do have a range special now. Maybe that'll help. I thought I could perfect shield that. <laughs> I'll have to practice that timing. I kind of like that there's even a perfect shield in the first place. I was going to say, give me all the items. Then I would just fall into my doom anyway. Oh, okay. Well, that's new. Well, kind of new. So the bulls were protected by the front, and these guys have metal legs, so they're protected in the back? I take it? The bunnies are no big deal, but these guys... Uh, 
Uh, I see. Heh, <laughs> goats. Goats are funny. They just defy gravity and climb wherever they please. Well, at least regular goats won't shoot horns at you. <laughs> True. Still a shame that I had to beat up so many bunnies, though. Well, I guess I say I have to, but I don't really have to. I was wondering why I didn't see a certain character at the beginning of this place. I think it's because I forgot to turn in a certain quest. Yeah. Yeah, just to make easier work of the time I have. I think I should talk to Henry again, because he'll probably show up in Bergen Trail. And he'll have further quests along the same vein for me. I should have done that in the first place. W w welcome back, Leah. Were you able to f find all the data I re requested? M marvelous. I d don't know what to say. S say. With this, I might be able to piece together h how they made this area. The uh, uh, ancients, I mean. Here, take this. I'm looking forward to w w working with you again. I I if you want, that is. <laughs> so I think that will mean that he'll show up for Bergen Trail. I remember him being a recurring character. Wanting his research done in all the areas. I think it's as soon as I encounter the snowy part. Or either that or like the... across the bridge. Oh, no, there he is. The, the, this was quite the climb. Now I need someone to help me again. Oh, hello, Leah. We m meet again. And it j just so happens that I ha have a new request. Ah, uh, wait, I m m mean I just finished up preparations again. E yes, that's what I m m meant. Uh, anyway, I n know you helped me already, but how about doing it again? Sure. R really? But very good. The t t tasks are the same as last time. I, I want to gather some d data for Bergen Trail this time. Your h help will make it much easier. I c c compiled a list again. Some enemy scouting, local flora, and the landmarks here. And of course a probe. I asked another player to place it in a cave. The problem is that I don't know which one it is. I'm sorry, but it seems like you had to check all of them. I would be honored if you would help me g g gather all the intel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks appropriate. Sure. But please find out what you c c can and return to me. But thank you so much for your h h help. A and in case you forgot what the p probe looks like, it looks the same as the w w one next to me. I had to double take because I was wondering what was going on behind this tree here. There's like three of those, <laughs> three of those NPC-like characters just stuck. <laughs> All right, now I feel a little more comfortable just exploring as I see fit. I recognize her on the right there. Fine, take that. That's another reason why it's nice to have a party member. They can kind of take the aggro. So something that can only be hit by a certain side, a little easier to manage. Oh. <laughs> I keep getting surprised by the level ups. Uh, since I've gotten a couple, it's probably time to take a look at the skill tree thing again. Damage of critical strikes. Yes, please. Can't go further until I get another thing.
Well... Hi, uh, you're heading out? Very well. See you next time, friend. Thank you for joining me. I usually like all the offense-related stuff, like the first thing I went for was melee equivalent. And then I realized that this scree is for the more ranged thing, so I figured since that's still nice and offense-focused, that'd be fine. But I can only down, go down one of the paths at a time, so I could either work on some more defense-related stuff, or I could fill out things like some attack damage or damage of ranged attacks. I kind of do like the idea of just slapping on some more attack. That sounds fun. Oh, I can make that jump. I wasn't sure. It doesn't look like anything's going on there. Hello again. Hey there, sweetheart. Hi! Look at them plants here. The leaves look like feathers, don't you think? And how's your exploring coming along? All good? Well, that's just wonderful. Y'all be good now. <laughs> no more special to go from there? Darn. Before I actually like, move on to the next area, I want to make sure I'm not missing treasure chests or anything fun sitting in a corner. Oh yeah, and another detail of the NPCs running through the area is that if you ever get like stuck of figuring out how to move on to the next one, you can just kind of follow them. Because they'll be taking the path you need to take. <laughs> okay. I guess opening that chest gave me the item I need for it, but... I don't know if that was intentional. So I can't go that way, I'll unlock that some other way. Uh, well I didn't mean to jump off the... Whoops. <laughs> oh, the enemy followed me, sweet. I guess that works. I think we can safely rename Bergen Trail to Bunny Mountain, no? Those things are everywhere. Yeah, that part is absolutely for certain. Why are there so many bunny enemies on this mountain? <laughs> Speaking of them, there's what, nine here? No, eight. Oh well, it's a money massacre, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. So it's making me feel bad. I guess someone needs a lesson here. Ooh. Ah! It's just a one way block. Okay. Bunch more of the bunnies again. I can fight range with range, fine. I want to get up there. Won't be doing it from this side, though. Yeah, I guess it's across the laser bridge. Laser bridge into the snow! <laughs> okay, Emily definitely loves the laser bridges a little too much. Oh, finally not bunnies! Penguins! With blue robotic lines in them? Or maybe just blue... Uh, some kind of line. They get beat up all the same. Doesn't matter how cute they are. Oh, okay, that kind of hurt. We 
Penguins on mountains. That's the things in cross worlds. Well, at least they have some water around here. <laughs> Keep realizing I'm actually hitting the wrong button for blocking. Well, I say that, but it's because one button doubles as dodging and blocking, depending if I'm standing still or moving. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I need to remember to block more often. It's a pretty useful maneuver. Where the other... I was gonna say, where'd the penguin go? <laughs> Jeez, okay, those penguins are flying around! I see how it is. Uh, how am I getting over there? Did I just jump down? Uh, I guess I do. Okay. That still works. Use the ricochet to pick those up. Perfect. Can I jump to that treasure chest to the right there? Here's hoping. Now that treasure better be worth it. <laughs> Dropped might times three. Well, that makes me feel like it's not so grand. Well, that looks like how to get over here. I finally just realized this platform was here. Okay, that's not a way to go. Got it. Ah, now I get stuck with these guys. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. I can't. Well, I just thought since there were three guys sitting here conspicuously, I'd be able to talk with them. I guess not. Well, I was hoping to jump over to that, but all right. I still see something over there that I can get to. Or should be able to get to. Uh, that's how. Okay. I see now. Is this a hidden bunny lair or something? Well, there's bunnies down here, and it was hidden enough. I guess it is. But there's not quite anything there right now. So, oops. Are the bunnies different colors? Like, to blend it with the snow? <laughs> Certainly think they are. Okay, I'm almost dying here. Gotta be a little more careful. <laughs> or I'll just die. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I have to remember to not be so careless when I'm fighting. They actually can kill me. I'm focusing on offense so much. I need to remember to uh, not get hit as often as I have been. Jeez. It's that goat. Hurts. So wait for the opening and then attack the goat a bunch. That helps a lot better. So... Oh, a small house in the middle of nowhere. Isn't that nice? Levels keep scaring me. Alright. Finally, I'm out of this freezing storm. Hi there, fella! Welcome to the Hermit's House. 
You can find all sorts of strange folks here. If you're looking for a hot beverage, I can sell you one if you want. Alright, but it's gonna cost you. Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, those are, um, exorbitant prices. I got new gear. Too bad your appearance doesn't change, no? <laughs> so I guess this place counts even for upgrading the party member's gear. Some friends of mine told me that you get some quests here after you beat the temple mine. Not really seeing anyone new, though. <laughs> that guy looks familiar. Anyone else to talk with? No? Alright. <laughs> Don't mind me, just sticking around the counter. So I can go to the east or the north. So try these first. Take care of the easy one first. And worry about the goat. We used to have a zoo of goats in my place, you know? And they kept escaping their compound. Simply climbed over that fence. Pas de problème. So you had goats all over the zoo. That was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Is that really the right word for that? Kinda look... Oh, there's a quest. Oh, I recognize this guy. The parkour area. Oh, now look who it is. Hi! Could not imagine a better person to show up right now, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Looks like you already know what I'm going to ask. Well, that makes things easy, then. I got a new job testing parkourists, but this time it needs to be done within a time limit. Sounds pretty dope, right? But also, like, lots of work, and I might start sweating, even. Who would have thought this job could be so hard? You'd have mentioned that running around as an avatar wouldn't really exhaust you. Anyway, what do you say? Wanna help me do this? Might as well... Sweet potatoes! Alright, let's see. Okay, there we go. Just walk through this point like last time. The timer will start automatically and you'll have to finish before it runs out. Pretty simple stuff, really. I'm sure you can handle it. Alright. And again, that they have that huge spinning circle around the next one that closes in on itself. Very helpful indeed. And conveniently, this also shows me how to get around this area. Okay, now I'm glad I did that. Uh, well, whoops. I guess I need to do that faster. It's probably... Well. <laughs> I'll just try that again. Oh. Didn't you remember where that one was gonna go. Remember where the next one is kinda helps. I'll just use this trick to get on the quicker. Oh boy, you did it! Wow, that looks so taxing. But you pulled through, and you didn't even break a sweat. Do you work out or something? <laughs> and nothing weird happened, right? No sudden strokes or anything. My boss will be thrilled. Thanks so much. Again, you really nail these tracks. We make a great team, don't you think? <laughs> okay, right. I'll go do my report now. Until next time. You did it again. Seems like at this point you're doing his job. But there is loot, so everything is okay. Uh, I want that treasure chest up there. But... How am I getting up there? Well, I'm not breaking that yet, that's for sure. That... However, it does look like the way up there. 
Unless I get by with this roof. And of course I got guard duty on Bergen Trail. Wait, oh, you don't like that? Consumables, okay. So... I guess I'll try east first. I think that's another path I could have taken from the first, like, little zone. Oh, hello. Bunch of bunnies appearing out of nowhere. They'll still get beaten up. Or maybe I'll get beaten up. So there are two colors of the rabbits. Alright. Wait a minute, I saw that. That rabbit turned purple when it was kicking. Oh, evil. Okay, note to self, those are actually scary rabbits. I still get a little mixed up on the, uh, where I'm allowed to go exactly. And I'll shoot you with ranged, whatever you want. Hmm. I always keep my eyes peeled for treasure chests and stuff, but... I still can't help but shake the feeling that I'm missing stuff every time. I need to remember I have a ranged special attack. <laughs> That'll help for those guys. Looks like an alternate path I can take. Though that may be the only use for it. <laughs> Collecting some items. Oh well, something's better than nothing. Might just be like the collectible stuff up there. So it looks like there is a way east. Try that first. Okay, again with the rabbit side of nowhere. Keep trying to group them up. Not really working out for me. Any more enemies added to the combo? There is. Okay, yeah, those guns are dangerous. Okay, well, I might die anyway. Take out the small fry first. I don't want to die. I'm gonna wait for it to do its thing with the horns. If it ever does. Yeah, I'll just play it safe, use ranged attacks. Well, uh, that's on me. I thought I'd be safe, but the horn projectile thing went past it. Still hit me. <laughs> I think I was even able to kill it, but... Oh, well. I need to be the teensiest bit more careful. Like, using that little bit of XP to level up first. And then maybe, uh, using some of those points. <laughs> Maybe I'll save him up. Get that extra attack. Alright, how to tackle this. 
by not getting hit. That'd be the most appropriate way to say it. Sounds like one of those classic, get good, kind of sayings. Oh yeah, real hopeful, thanks. That'll work, yeah, attack her instead. Oh. Got a little greedy, I guess. That'll do it. It's like we're standing at the edge of the world, no? I figured I'd try it just for fun. Am I missing anything? I just keep feeling like I am. Man, that's nice when they're all grouped up like that. Well, at the least I can go up here, but what does it even do for me? Oh, it gets me over here. Okay, it's better than nothing. And a funky looking chest. Alright. I guess that makes it for a good place to put a marker so I know to come back later. I feel like the game glitched out at me for a moment there. Hope it's still alright, caption. Oh, a hidden cave! Nice! I don't think I'm doing anything with that yet. I could also put a marker to come back here later. So, since I came through here, that means I only have that north way to go. Might as well check that out. I already forgot there'd be an enormous chunk of rabbits here. Maybe I didn't go this way yet, actually, come to think of it. Those rabbits jump really high. <laughs> this guy rips from everywhere. I got baited to jump off the ledge. And I missed my range special entirely. Lovely. Let's jump along this narrow path above the endless abyss. Pas de problem. Oh. <laughs> well, if the other areas wouldn't set off your fear of heights, this place definitely would. There's nothing down there. <laughs> Fine, I'll do your range thing, whatever. I think I'll end the combat just so I can heal back up. I have to remember that. <laughs> Use the attack and left right off the edge.
Not two of these. Ow. Now I can't even get back up there. <sighs> wow, okay. I was supposed to hit that switch for jumping down, but... Oops. I guess a level up helps with that sting a little bit. Okay, that over there on the left side. Yeah, that's the enemy I was, I was thinking of earlier. The snowman. A snowman? Why would it attack us? I think I'm supposed to attack these guys from range. There's a big slam attack if I get close to it. I think it has a machine gun for snowballs. Jeez. It's distracted. It sure looks pretty cold around here. Good thing you don't really feel all that cold as an avatar. I heard you can figure you can configure your sensors so you probably feel the temperature for whatever reason you'd want to do that. I, I, what? <sighs> well, I guess I can use items. It's better than nothing. Remember to actually avoid the attacks. Because <laughs> I'm about to die again. I can't take another hit. Phew! Okay. No, I won't accept this. Snowmen are great. I love building snowmen. Peaceful snowmen. Snakes. Jeez, jumping everywhere. What's wrong with you? Oh boy. Jeez. Yeah, can't do much about that. Alright, range it is. Well, I thought I could get out of there. No, oh, jeez. I need to remember to actually... I was just about to say I need to remember to block. <sighs> Don't let that happen to me. Well, here's the fight in the mall again. Kind of work. Block, shoot, block, shoot, block, shoot. <laughs> I'll remember to do that more often. Oh, you're attacking her. Okay. That makes it a little easier. So easier. All right, yeah. All right, these guys again. I just want to get big damage on it. Okay, that's... I can't be greedy. Can't get near him. Got it. Fine, just range. Just range, fine. I'm 
Phew! I'm much more comfortable with the melee, though. Oh yeah, I forgot I can dodge while I'm aiming. I should do that more often. Keep him distracted! Now we're talking- oh! Shoo! Alright. Now this time I need to not die on these snowmen. Dodge when the snowballs come. Now we're talking. Already way better. Mostly. I need more dodge! If I don't do this, I'm definitely not beating any dungeon coming up here. <laughs> Yeah, just consider it as practice for later. Oh. Well, that kind of helps. Compared to the snowman, the bunnies are nothing at all. <sighs> oh, I thought that was a way to jump. Guess not. Boy, I'm gonna have to get used to the whole parkour thing. And those are easy by comparison. So there's a way west there, and then there's a way north here. I guess I should find out if going uh, north from here is the way to go to reach Bergen Town or village or whatever it's called. If it is, I'll come back to explore the other way, but. Just kind of strikes me as the way that could be the main route. And so I didn't actually fully explore this area, did I? No, treasure. I'm not even getting hit by it with them. A much bigger hitbox than it looks. Jeez. I know these guys are gonna kill me. Wait a minute. That thing is like a boomerang! Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here instead. A perfectly regular stone. The second I saw that, I knew it looked weird. I did say I was gonna go north first, but... I guess now that I'm here, I can check west. I kinda had forgotten about that in my haste to escape. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I didn't even look at this area. I'd forgotten about that. I just walked in for a moment and left in the first place. Which put it on my map. It's not like I actually looked around. I should probably be taking a peek. Why the snowman? Why? I don't even like him. What is their weakness, anyway? Well, it shows like a fire and electric. I don't have anything like that, though. It's saying they're level, though. Maybe I'm just under level. Be a little something like that. I did ignore a couple of quests, admittedly. For now, let's try to go back to later. Can't go there yet. So many waterfalls. Kind of makes you want to jump out the water. Except it's cold. And avatars can't swim. 
And you really shouldn't swim near waterfalls. Why did I think that was a good idea again? I think I was supposed to jump a certain way from there. Or not. Yeah, I guess not. I don't look like I could go that way. I'm definitely seeing a higher up path that looks like I should be on it, but... I don't see how I'm getting up there. <laughs> definitely not that way. No, no, it wouldn't be from the south. It's not like there's an alternate entrance somewhere. Oh. Maybe there is. Well, maybe I'll look at that first. I figured I might as well watch that guy to see if he did anything interesting. Okay, this looks promising. Take that! I think me coming here means that I can use this jump pad thing now? Alright. Shortcut unlocked. Kinda looks like there's supposed to be a light bridge here. That might be the source of said bridge. Spoke a little too soon. <laughs> Tricky laser bridge! Tricky indeed. Sorry, you can't make it. Nice view from here. <laughs> Golden triangle. Wait a minute, I probably don't even have to look at it to know it's a Triforce thing. A yellow triangle. Seems to be rather useless. <laughs> uh, I want to make sure I'm actually like taking advantage of being here. Collecting whatever needs collected. Still can't go that way, sadly. Alright. Maybe it's time I move on anyway. East and then north. Okay. Time to see about this Bergen village. Town. I forget what it was called. Nothing looks particularly cool over there. Alright. Oh. Oh, there's another old area. Okay. I just thought the village was the next thing immediately. The goat things and the snowman, really? Alright. Maybe the snowman's worth the first. And he's got all the aggro, so I'll just... I forgot the goats could do that! Uh... Just gotta watch all of them. Noticing that even though I focused a lot on attack, because I focused more specifically on the melee, I'm not doing anything for ranged. But there's probably something about the snowman. There's probably like a way to break it that I haven't noticed yet. Now 
we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. Maybe I'm picking up the tricks for all this stuff. Yep, yeah, that looks way better. I gotta remember there's a switch over there. Where to hit it from, I couldn't tell you, but... <laughs> the level ups keep getting me. I only have... Oh, I do have four. Well, since I've got four... I can grab the extra attack. Sure. I like extra offense anyway. Just a bunch of bunnies out of nowhere again. I'll still beat them all up, it's not a problem. Stop scaring me though. Oh, back it. Just shoot over there. Stop flying away from me! Let me beat you up! I got some in, right. I was hope. What the heck was it? I was just hoping to corner the. Oh well. Oh, and it applies a chill effect, which slows the attacks down. Oh, that's just wonderful! I assume that's just a... Okay. I see a lot of suspicious light bridge going on here. Okay. I don't want I expected to find the cave. Who the heck lives here? So how am I doing this puzzle deal? <laughs> that pop-up kind of scared me. I see an item right there. But how do I even get up there? Just assume through that puzzle deal. But it's always possible not. There's like four switches to hit. Only the two? Oh! I mean, alright. Whatever works. I'll take it. Better be worth it, though. Hi! Great view from up here, huh? Personally, I like watching people more than admiring the view. This is the area right before Bergen Village. People get excited when they realize they're finally at the end of the trail. Seeing the look on their faces, there's nothing quite like it. Takes me back to when I climbed the trail for the first time. Yes, I did see you, actually. You had a look on your face that said you'd figure out a way to get up here sooner or later. And look where you are now. Well done. <laughs> oh, well, looks like a weapon. How good of a weapon are we talking about? Level 21, okay. That looks like a straight up upgrade. A robust tool often used to dig through mountain and monster alike. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely take that. And this is Bergen Village. Ah, we, we made it. Ah, Bergen. After that long climb, I sure wouldn't mind a break in one of those cozy houses. 
The next dungeon should be close by. I hope they let you enter without a huge load of exposition. <laughs> Bergen Village. Right, okay. Ah, this guy's blocking the storage house again. I wish he would meditate somewhere else, under waterfall or whatever. To become a true avatar, you first need to master all four elements. <laughs> Explains the particular color of clothes the hat guy has. The first element, heat, lies ahead in the temple mine. Prepare. It will test your wits before granting you new powers. <laughs> I knew there was an item up there. Okay. Hello, welcome to Bergen Village. Good day. Welcome to Bergen Village. What's up? Welcome to Bergen Village. I like swords. Welcome to Bergen Village. Bye. Welcome to Bergen Village. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's NPCs for you. Hi. Well, what do we have here? Another secret, eh? Got a lot of your kind marching into Bergen, with that first station of the track being here. Many of you even offer some assistance to us, being all do-goody and well-intentioned, I suppose. But can just anyone with a fancy title do real police work and face the worst of humanity? I doubt it. You want to prove me wrong, huh? Alright, then I got a nice and simple practice test for you. A goat kid is jumping around the roofs of Bergen Village, annoying the citizens. Up to you to catch it. Okay then, I want you to take care of this dwarf goat that is annoying the good citizens of Bergen. Yes, yes, catching it might sound simple, but it's really quick and likes to climb to higher places. It's stealing food, shiny stuff, and everyone's time, but I don't want to waste our manpower on it. Besides, it does sound like ideal seeker work, eh? So you better show me your worth. That's the spirit. You should be able to find it somewhere on the rooftops of Bergen. Happy climbing. Bye. Yep, Leah is definitely using her new words well. <laughs> so much can be said with just a couple choice words. Bye. <laughs> Hi, girl. What can I get you? Hi? Hi, ain't no drink I know about. <laughs> this darn mine. Ancients almost killed me with their stupid track. Tis a shame indeed. Yeah, everything in there is consumed by them machines and whatnot. You were there when it happened, right? I sure was. Still have nightmares about that scream. You're interested, lass. The mine in the north was our biggest one. We used to mine for rare ores there. One day, however, there was the most awful sound come from the death of the mine. After that, all the robots we used turned on us. No one really knows what happened, but we assume it has something to do with the temple we discovered. Apparently, it's some old ruin left by those ancients. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't, like, anything. I interrupted with clicking on that prompt. I know that you want to meet up with your friends, but do we have to stand out in the cold? I'm freezing! Maybe I want them to see us without searching half the town. Besides, why are you complaining about the virtual cold anyway? Hey, you can modify your avatar senses, remember? Oop. That was a little faster than I was expecting. <laughs> Got them sized to the max! Alright, but why do that and complain? Because role-playing is all about the immersion, duh! Forget I asked. Oh, hey, Seeker. Hi! You see that house over there? The townsfolk are pretty quiet about it, but something very, very strange is going on over there. Some nights, I swear I see light coming out of the cracks, even though the house has been abandoned for years. Very strange. Huh, what's this small house doing on this side of the river? It must be really inconvenient to live here, having to jump over the water every day. 
little conversation with the two characters that are talking about the cold or whatnot. I guess I never really put much thought into it, but if I ever were to play a game like this, just in a pretend scenario, where you could actually control stuff like that and feel the senses, but you could choose whether or not you wanted to feel the cold or the heat, would you do that? Or I guess in this case, would I do that? <laughs> I'm not sure I would. Because feeling the extreme cold and the extreme heat for like immersion stuff, that sounds nice, but very quickly I bet that would get horribly annoying. Wow. Because, I mean, this village is a great example. Just standing here, you'd be frozen. I don't know, so I could talk with you. This one looks interesting. Green up high in the windy climb. Hidden as a path only for a telepath. Okay. A riddle, maybe? Could I go in here? Can't go in there. I probably did try already. <laughs> I'm also looking for... A little goat, I take it? I sometimes can't tell if certain... Certain, I guess, scattered people are the NPCs or the, like, players of the game. <laughs> The only thing I can think to differentiate them might be, like, their vibrant colors. Like the folk of, folks over there on the right with the green and the purple lined clothes. I'm guessing those would be the players? And then the people that look like they're wearing armor or robes or something can be NPCs. I'm, I'm just trying to guess. I remember the first time I played through Costco, I had quite the much trouble indeed kind of separating the game world of cross worlds, I guess, from the narrative of the game cross code. <laughs> I kept getting it mixed up and confused a little bit. And that's a me problem. Like the whole thing about the seekers and stuff. I kept forgetting that that was part of the cross worlds game. That's like the lore of the MMO. <laughs> I had this strange notion, for whatever reason, that all that stuff was actually part of the whole cross-code world about this planet, and we're going on this journey to discover all this stuff about the Ancients. No, that's just the, the game, the, the MMO game. You vaguely look like a goat. You the goat we're looking for? No, probably not. The heck is that thing? Looks like an antenna up there. Anybody else to talk to? Or talk with? I'm definitely not seeing... Goat, whether big or small. Granted, I guess there's another whole area here anyway. Or another, like, half the village. And I should probably mark that there's a... Treasure of some variety... Somewhere in that vicinity. That'll hopefully work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I forgot that would be a possibility. I was trying to think of how I'd get to the ice. Hey, don't jump on the oven. That'll that'll hurt. <laughs> I still always get suspicious when there's like nobody to talk with, no item or anything in one of these residences. Like, what's the purpose? There's gotta be something. Maybe not.
That person's building a snowman, I guess? Please don't be the kind that comes alive. Hey there! Do you like Mr. Cotton Snow here? How nice of you. It took me a while to get him the perfect hat, but it just looks so precious on him. Wait, wait a minute. Why is your name Ms. Hat? <laughs> Alright, I'll let you do your, your thing with your snowman there. Damn, how is she able to sleep here? What? I thought she was AFK. <laughs> Are you serious? We have been waiting for you. Snow, soft, whatever. <laughs> I can't think I can talk with the people. Vlog entry six sixty six on that. All right. Can't talk with you either. Okay, I guess it's just for that log. Though that little conversation about like falling asleep there. Oh, that's the go. I see you up there. I'll have to figure out a way to get up to you. Like the people. Having that conversation about sleeping versus AFK. I guess these players are just hanging out, enjoying the vibes of the village, if I can call it that. I probably would be one of those types just <laughs> just hanging around and enjoying the views and the sounds and the sights. Well, that's how to get to that at least. Don't really know what else to do about that, though. Going back. Oh, I was gonna say, how do I get out of here? the heck am I getting to that goat? Somewhere for the south or what? Well, so I don't forget after I should check every door. Near, that's not enough. I see you up there, though. I'll get you. No worry. <laughs> I say to. Oh, hello. This looks a little promising. What does that symbol on the door mean? <laughs> Didn't even have to talk, and I got encyclopedia entries. Very efficient indeed. Greeting seeker. Why not take a rest on a comfortable pillow and ponder on the beauty of existence? <sighs> I, I don't think I actually can sit on the pillow. Well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to our humble monastery, Seeker. This one's name is... Nima, and I am the spiritual guide of our order. Know that many souls that desire understanding of the track seek our guidance. Seeker's chief among them. We must, however, test their mental balance and physical aptitude to deem them worthy of our allegiance. What about you, young Seeker? Do you desire to be tested? A trial? Okay. Sure. I felt that you would answer as such. The track resonates strongly inside you. Go to Monk Hasauk. Hasuk, maybe. To start the first trial, you can find him under this very roof. Bye! <laughs> oh, it's this guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Greetings, young one. I sense that our wise leader has sent you for me to test your inner balance. Very well. But it is not I who will test you, but the very track itself. For that purpose, we prepared a trial that works in harmony with the track, 
deep within these mountains. I was wondering why we moved that camera over there. <laughs> Enter this teleporter to reach the start of your trial. To show your worth, reach the other side and return with the sacred artifact found there. Oh yeah. Aw, oh, in instance, I want to do the quest together with you. <laughs> this is a trial of fortitude and dexterity to pass him to the eastern end of the cave without falling into the darkness. Along the way, you'll be attacked by invincible guardians. Their shots will knock you away, but your shield can defend it against them. There will be a checkpoint after each of the challenges, leaving the cave with the activate them again, though. Let's see what this is. Testing my parkour and ability to do it without getting hit. <laughs> Checkpoint. Okay, definitely getting trickier. <laughs> Oh jeez, now the turrets are even moving. Now I have to shoot things while avoiding this- Ah, oh, boy. I'll consider it training for the dungeons. I kinda need it anyway. Yeah. And then I jump off by myself. I, I didn't even get hit, I just straight jumped off. Alright. <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy. This time I got it for sure. Because I'm not gonna. <laughs> I was just about to say I'm not gonna jump off, and then I jump off. <laughs> like I said, it's good practice to get into the game again. <laughs> right. I'm supposed to shield those anyway. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that ever. I'm not even remembering the right way to go now. Ah. Maybe that's why it keeps using the term patience. I need to be a little more patient. <laughs> no. At the very least, this is one of my favorite tracks of the game. I like this little challenge theme. Whoa, okay, I got very lucky there, dude. You know, there's the patience. Please don't fall off. Okay. Nice. Oh, this looks different. Oh. Oh, I see the deal now. Yikes, okay. <laughs> how did... How did I even do that? I thought I was just jumping to the next platform. Jeez. Oh boy. Yeah, I can tell I, I've definitely lost any and all skills I had from whatever however many years ago I last played this. Jeez. <laughs> Need to get better at the actual jumping around, too. I'm supposed to jump to this anyway. Might be what happened. <laughs> Whew. Yeesh. That's why they call it a challenge. 
Ah, you have returned. Hi! Indeed, the firm aura that surrounds you speaks of your success. Also, the blessed trinket you returned leaves no room for doubt. Very good. You should now return to the wise to complete the initiation. Ah, it is you again. Truly, I can feel change inside you. Yes, what was once mere embers among dry leaves has become a fire that may one day shed light into the darkest of corners. Now I presume you desire our guidance and the wisdom you came for. But, you see, by challenging yourself and beating our trial, you have already grown so much. Yes, leading you to find your determination and inner strength, that was our true guidance. <laughs> now, young seeker, take some refreshment and go forth to bring balance wherever you go. Bye. <laughs> oh boy. The track is quiet at this moment, leaving us time to meditate on its purpose. Why not join us? Bye. <laughs> oh? Hi! Seeker, you may have proven your worth, but I feel that you still have more room for refinement. Hi? Yes, you have beaten the first trial, but that does not mean you have mastered it. For this purpose, we have prepared some additional challenges in the Cave of Aspiration. Timed and no shield. Whew. Yikes. Excellent, I'll reopen the passage for you. Return to me once you have solved the challenges. Bye. <laughs> that smug face. I'll leave that for another time. I kind of want to find that goat. I figure out how to get to said goat. Come on, that looked like a perfectly doable jump. What happened? That wasn't where I wanted to go. All right. That's that's not a doable jump. It looks like one. Okay, it's it's just straight not. So that's not. I'm getting to the goat. Got it. No, 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 this just won't do! Hi? What is it? Can't you see that I am in a fragile, icy cage of emotions? Bye. <laughs> Our Bergenors of the highest quality. The only, the only thing that, like, actually looks like a full on upgrade is the iron boots here. Oh wait, am I buying two now? What the heck? Uh, I only want one. Cool. Leah, look at the new stuff I just bought! <laughs> I do like that they actually will... The party members actually buy their own stuff. Lore-wise, of course. They're not like actually buying stuff with an inventory or anything, but they're upgrading their equipment every time you check out the store. Greetings! Please take a kind look at our humble provisions! Ah! General Goods has a lot more stuff now. I guess... Oh, hello. Oh, this is how to get over this way. Alright, I just... Just didn't notice that, I guess. I'm kind of curious what's in that door. Wait, have I? Oh, it's because I need to go one higher. I have already been here. I'm not remembering. <laughs> so this is a place to trade in a bunch of stuff. Spiky jacket. Defense in exchange for attack, scope, and pin body. Oh, but I lose that salt. I like that effect. Edgy headphones. <laughs> Is that like those uh, gopher enemies wear? 
Huh. Well, that does look like a straight up upgrade. Just swapping the cold resistance for heat resistance. No, the heat resistance and one for a cold resistance. Uh, sure. Yeah, that looks better all around. Hi! Ah, Seeker. It is a pleasure seeing more of your kind here in Bergen. I am Mrs. Summers, holding the position of chairperson in Bergen Trade and Metalwork. Leah! <laughs> Lovely. Alas, we should not spend too much time with idle pleasantries. After all, we business people have as much a responsibility to humanity's progress as any soldier. Sadly, some of those among us are more concerned with personal vanities nowadays. But appeasing even associates such as those falls unto me, as useless as it may seem. You, on the other hand, seem like a diligent young lady. Could I ask you to lighten my burden a bit? <laughs> Someone wants a top hat worthy of his refined taste. Find a suitable artisan. Okay. Excellent. Operation Trackwalker truly shows its worth in all facets of our society. The person in question is called Jamie Trollson. You should be able to find him in the local item shop. He wastes his time and the patience of all his colleagues with fruitless fashion experiments. Hopefully you can be of assistance to him so he can finally work towards something more worthwhile. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Spiral gem? Well, that sounds like something unique. Yep, definitely gonna have to keep collecting more items. Some of that equipment looks and sounds pretty cool. So the item shop was where again? Just that one? I guess so. Oh. It's this guy. The the uh Ah, the council has sent you to assist me? Finally, they have recognized the importance of my quest! And you also seem to be a person of refined taste, and an unexpected sight indeed. <laughs> you see, I have devoted my life to the search for the perfect hat, fit only for the noblest of pates. Thus, when tales of a legendary piece of headwear called Top Hat reached me, I had to settle down here. <laughs> but so far, the only ones I've seen were the ruined pieces of rag worn by those terrible snow creatures. The sacred art of the top hat cannot be entirely lost. Someone in Bergen must still be skilled in it. Finding that lost master is now up to you. A worthy task indeed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> skilled hat maker? That's just so specific. <laughs> I still want to find a way up on the roofs. I noticed the time is getting a wee bit late for me, so I figured the last thing I can at least do is try to wrap up some loose ends of these side quests and then call it a night. I still feel like I should be able to jump over there. I suppose my original thought of being able to get to the uh, dungeon and even potentially beat the dungeon. That's not happening tonight. <laughs> Probably because I get distracted so easily with just exploring around and the such. Truly, how the heck do I get up there? I know I'm missing something. up there, isn't it? Alright, I'll let that conversation reset so I can actually see it. Alright, the first dungeon is just ahead. Just stay calm, remember the basics, and you should be fine. I guess. Still, I've always been fighting in groups up till now, so it's a bit of a change. Hi! Oh, hey there! Are you also on your way to the first dungeon? It's not that hard, but a lot of new players are scared of it, especially since you gotta do it on your own. Hi? 
Yeah, I was confused about that as well. The puzzles are a core element of those temple dungeons, and they wouldn't really work in groups of random sizes. So it makes sense to restrict them to solo instances. You gotta prove your own skills to progress in the story. <laughs> alright, alright. But you better not complain if I take forever to beat it, then. Don't worry, I'll even stick around if you need moral support or common words via direct link. Gee, thanks. <laughs> now that I am coming over here, I think this is the way I'm supposed to go to get up to those rooftops. Look a mighty suspicious. Yeah, yeah, that's the way. Okay. Well, now at least I kind of get the idea. Can I make that jump? Can. Here's the goat. Figures it would just run off. <laughs> Alright. I see how it is. Man, never thought we'd be able to get up here. We can look over the whole village from here. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to ever get up here myself, either. I was complaining about it not too long ago. <laughs> uh, I guess I've nearly explored all of it. Just need to get back up there one more time. I want to grab that item. Otherwise, I know I'll forget. Bug shell. Got it. So, what was the idea... The deal with the dude standing over there to the... I'm not, not trying to go into the next area. <laughs> I just want to find about the guy on the left hook. Well, this is a main looking place here. I love this lamp, it's so cute! Just look at all the patterns! Yes, very cute. And here you are, sitting on a table. Again. Look, you can see the lamp just fine from over here. Oh, I want one from my place! <laughs> Recurring character. <laughs> Finding them in here. Hi! Greeting Seeker, please head down into the basement for an introduction to Bergen Village. Oh? Dear Seekers, welcome to Bergen Village. The mayor is waiting in the lower floor to greet all new Seekers visiting our small town. Oh. Uh, so I was supposed to come here. This spot is pretty cozy, huh? Yeah, not bad. Although I prefer the rest area in Basin Keep. Why is that? I live in a place much like this one, but I prefer modern architecture. Oh. Wait, you've been that far into the game? No, I saw it online! Why would you spoil yourself like that? But I'm not playing Crossworlds, I'm not thinking about Crossworlds, or watching gameplay footage of Crossworlds. Dude. <laughs> you just... sleeping in a comfy spot, alright. I kinda understand the idea of that, dude. The reception area is in the room to the left. It's about to start. Well, what if I want to come over here? One. Hi? Yes, hello. Nice to meet you all. Let me take a wild guess. You are probably wondering why this handsome little bag suddenly started talking to you. <laughs> it's like nobody in this world ever saw a half-decent artifact. To be fair, it seems like a convenient bag of infinite holding like me isn't needed here. From what I saw, everybody is just collecting those small chips that magically pop out of monsters, plants, and everything. Back in my day, people collected real things. Heavy things. Things you could not just shrink into nothingness. Then they shoved it all into me. Yeah, so those were the days. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to continue my nap in this cozy little storage room. Bye?
Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to open that. I guess the best I'll have to do is put in a little marker. There's some treasure at the Seeker Hub. That's how I remember. <laughs> I was gonna say, what am I stuck? No. Okay, and what about this briefing? Dear Seekers, welcome to Bergen. As the mayor of this town, it always honors me to see so many visitors arriving day after day. Of course, that's because this town's mine has become a part of the Ancients' track. Now, since some of you look rather confused, let me to quickly explain. It all happened several years ago. Bergen was founded due to the mining activities in this area. After some time, we discovered a temple of the Ancients, hidden inside the mountain right at our mining location. At the time, we saw it merely as an obstacle. So we continued our mining endeavor, destroying the temple in the process. That was, until the tracks started to fight back. After a series of attacks, we were forced to give up the mine. But the mine conquered by the track, it started to reconstruct the temple based on our own infrastructure. And that's how the temple mine was born. Now, why do I tell you all of this? Bergen supports Project Trackwalker, so of course we will give you access to the mine. However, we plan to get back into the mining business. When we lost the mine, we also lost equipment and technical documentation still hidden inside of it. All we ask of you is to recover those things for us as you traverse the Temple Mine. For more information, please consult the advisors on the ground floor. With that being said, I'll now gladly give you the pass to the Temple Mine. Thank you very much for your attention, and good luck on your journey. Wee oui, wee, oui, the greed of mankind. No respect for all the ancient holy grounds, yada yada. Certainly heard that one before. Dear Seeker, thanks for listening to my speech. If you want to help us in recovering materials and documentations for the Temple Mine, please speak with the advisors on the lower floor. Trap, I was hoping you'd say something a little different. No, it already happened. I think I'll call that a great point to call it a night. Thank you for joining me. I hope it was a good time. Looks like... The next time I play Cross Code will be when I get to tackle the little dungeon temple thing. So maybe I'll see you then. Have a great night, everybody.